This is a Photoshop tutorial in 30 seconds or so, brought to you by tutvid.com. So Photoshop is making it easier and easier for us to edit virtually everything to do with Photoshop. And the latest tool here is this little ellipsis or dot, dot, dot. At the bottom of the toolbar, if you click and hold it, out pops a flyout that says edit toolbar. Well, that's one way to get to the editor. You can also go edit and toolbar and up pops the edit toolbar or the customized toolbar, I should say, dialog box, where you can simply grab a tool like the move tool. Let's say I don't want it in my toolbar, grab it, drag it over here to extra tools. Boom. Look at that. I just have my artboard tool. I don't want that either. Well, get rid of that. Now my rectangular marquee tool sits at the top of my toolbar. You can go through and get rid of any tool you want. You can get rid of any of these icons located here at the bottom of the toolbar. You don't want to see foreground background colors. No big deal. Boom. It's gone. See that? Maybe get rid of quick mask mode. Gone. Now I should mention that the hotkeys to activate these are still there, but they're just hidden. Um, well, you can see here, you can disable the shortcuts, but you can choose to either, so you can still use them if you hit like D and X to bring back your normal foreground colors and flip colors, things like that, but you can hide the icons. So there's a ton of flexibility here with the customized toolbar dialog. You can save your preset if you have particular toolbars you go to often, but also I should show you this. When you create a workspace, let's say you have a toolbar with only five tools left in it that you're using for photo retouching, you can then go and choose new workspace, save your workspaces, whatever you want, and choose to save the toolbar as well. This essentially allows you to go in and create a specific uh, workspace for like Photoshop or photography retouching, excuse me, for like graphic design, one for web design, one for 3D work, um, any kind of work that you're using Photoshop for medical and device and measuring stuff, all of that kind of analytical work. You can create workspaces for all of this different stuff right here in Photoshop. And now you can also customize your very own toolbar. That's it. Get it? Got it? Good. Nathaniel Dodson, tutvid.com. I'll catch you in the next one.